China. Hey, what's up? So the bus apparently is stuck down at Michael's house. The bus got stuck. So I guess we're staying home. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Hello. So we got eight to 10 inches of snow overnight. It's nice and powdery. It's easy to move. Um, we'll spend a little time pushing it around today. Uh, it was enough snow to give the school bus some trouble. So we have the kids here today. What happened? Well, the tree dropped snow on the path that I was shoveling and I had to do some of it over again. It did that. It did that. Yeah, that's pretty intense if it falls on you. I just had some in the face. Yeah, so did I. Winter is cramming. I recognize it because I have on occasion been the one to procrastinate all my work until the last minute. It's like winter just said, oh shoot, it's almost March. I've really got to get some work done. We got a, a bunch of snow and we're having colder temperatures. It feels okay. a lot like the day-to-day -day of the previous winters that we've had here and if it had been like this all winter you wouldn't have seen nearly as much building here you wouldn't have seen as much vlogging here it's just harder to get through our day today You're telling me that you have an egg in your pocket right now? Yes. It's not a good idea. <laughs> the egg and the, f the food, but do I have anything else to do to them? No, I did the water already. Okay. Get that egg out of your pocket before it gets crushed though. It's dead. Nice and good. Nick is still working away on his Papa Bear doors. I'm calling them the Papa Bear doors after the Bernstein Bears. I don't know if any of you ever read those children's books, but these doors look like something Papa Bear would make. So I'm making all the door related parts. I still have to make the uh, pieces that hold the glass into the doors. Uh, and then I'm also making doorstop uh, and I'm making door casing. We're doing one opening in our house with interior trim. 
making one set of door casing. So we're gonna try it out, see how much we like it, and then see how long we can put it off. No, we're not. Oh, I mean, see how quickly we can execute the rest. Jack in the box is broken. <laughs> oh, there's the song. Terrible song. Where is he? A day without going to school doesn't mean a day without projects. The girls helped me to get some bulk goods put away. I like to store as much as possible in glass and carry these things back down to the cellar. It's a great comfort to have plenty of food here in our cellar. We have, of course we have our canned goods, things that I've canned that includes ingredients, but also full meals. But we also have some food storage. It's not a it's not a huge amount, but we have comfortably enough to live on for a few weeks um, without even getting bored. And if we had to stretch it and get bored at least a month. Right here is the stew that I just put up this week. And there's a it's a great comfort on a winter night like this, even though I love to cook on wintry days when you're tired, to have something that's completely ready and you can just drop it right into a, a pot and heat it up and have good nourishing home cooked meal. And this is okay. That's great. You got a good eye, Sadie. Hey, no. Right. I'm swimming in a pool full of enormous ginger snaps. Ginger snaps my new um. So what was it like to stay home today? Oh, well, we had to do some work. I wrote an essay on um, snow. And I covered pretty much all the concepts of the making of snow. Same way rain. There's the ocean, it evaporates, turns into a cloud. The cloud gets a little cold. On its way down, it freezes into tiny little ice crystals. The ice crystals join together to make snowflakes. They fall down, melt into water, and the whole process starts again. It's the water cycle. Ah! <laughs> Good night, little house. I hope the school bus won't get stuck again tomorrow.